Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're working on this Toro two stroker, six and a half horse, uh, 20 inch snow thrower. This is a single stage unit, so it only has the one set of beaters in the front, which are in good shape, but this machine has been sitting for quite a long time, so we're gonna get into her, clean the carb out, make sure all that stuff is working okay, and uh, get it fired up for the customer. It's also going to be the first video I've shot with my new camera. I've got a high definition camera. So we'll see how good that works for us. If we get just situated in a stand here, get some tools gathered, start tearing into this thing. Okay, let's see what we're into here. We know we got to get to the carburetor, so let's get this little console off. This machine has been sitting a very long time. Everything's rusty. Now oh, we gotta get creative with that one. Let's see what we can do with that. I think it threads into metal. Yeah, it does thread into metal. There's a nut inside there. We may end up having to cut a slot across the top of that screw to get it out. First I'm going to get my socket back. It's stuck to it. Come on, get off of there, you little dick. There you go. Looks like it was rammed down pretty hard from the last guy that serviced it, so I'm not sure if we're going to win that battle. It doesn't give us access to much, it just allows us to separate these top and bottom covers. Jeez, looks like I had to pull the handles off too to get the lower off. Well, there's a carburetor bowl. There's a little access port underneath it. The carb bowl. A little port right there. I can see the carburetor. And it's plastic. Uh huh. Yeah, it looks like the handle's gonna come off to get this piece off. Because I'm sure I gotta pull that whole carburetor off of there. Rusty. There's rust everywhere. We're gonna be fighting that this whole project, I think. Anyway, I might be able to sneak this cover out without taking that other screw off. If I don't need to, then I won't bother. Fuel filter in there. Okay. Like we gotta get this off three eighths, half and a half nylocks with nuts. Let's have a look. See, oh. Definitely on there. Nylock and rust. Stuck in the wrench. There we go. One out. The other one is going to be interesting to get to because I can't get the cover off. To get the wrench in, to get the cover off. <laughs> Pull this one out this way. Loosen that one. I don't want it, everything to flop over the front. So, what can we see in there? I might be able to get the wrench in there. Yeah. No. 
can get it from underneath here though. It's a little shield. Should be good enough other than these two three eighths ones up there. Pull this one out at the bottom. That'll make it easy to work on. And three eighths. Attached with a cord. Ah! Or shoot. The shoot control is still attached up here, so we'll get that off. And those are 716s. Uh huh. take off to get in this one. Stubborn. Okay, it's that. Now, what's going to give us grief? Let's get that cable unhooked from there. Just the control cable. And of course there's more. Oh, there we go, it unhooks, nice and easy. We should be able to get rid of these. There you go. What else is holding this thing? screw is going to give us some trouble. I can see the carburetor. Uh-huh. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's going to need to be cleaned out. Well, you know what, I don't really need to pull all that out. I can just pull the carburetor off like this. If I just get this plastic braced up out of the way, I'll be able to work on it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll just get a block in there, I think, and get that sorted. I'm going to try one more time on that screw that's giving us trouble. Eh, yeah. Might have to dremel a little hole in that, a little slot so we can get it out. Alright, let me figure out a block of wood here or something to get this held out, out of our way. I was actually able to get that screw out, a little bit of penetrating oil, and I took a, uh, a socket. Let's see if I can show you the difference here. Might be able to pick it up on my fancy camera. If the focus focuses, maybe. Anyways, what it is is there's a leading. There you go. There's a leading bevel on sockets, so they engage on the fastener easier and faster. It just ground the edge of that bevel off. So what it did was uh, it allowed me to get deeper onto the screw. It's a very shallow headed screw. 
you can see it's very shallow. So that bevel was only grabbing, only allowing me to grab the top corner of that rusty bolt. So anyways, it's out. And uh, yeah, we got a nice free access to the carburetor now. Check that plug, it's uh, old, rusty. Champion CJ7Y, I probably have something that'll work there. Let's get our fuel line off of here. Dry, that's a good sign. These run on governor only, there's no throttle. So, a couple of, take those couple of Phillips out of there. We're not tight. Barely tight. We don't. Dose. What is this plate? It's our governor spring. Z-Bend, yep, Z-Bend there. Carb's off. All plastic carburetor. Not much to it. It does have a float, not just a diaphragm in this one. So there's our throttle and there's our choke. Got a bunch of flaky stuff coming out of it. nuts in there behind that flange. Very powdery. Tells me it's been sitting for a very long time. Okay, get the reset here, get a paper towel down on the bench and we'll turn to this carb, see what it looks like inside. Okay, let's see what kind of treats we have in here. Should be very basic. Should just be a float in the needle. Little tiny jet, maybe. I don't know. I know the gas tank smells like an old 1976 Ski Doo Olympic. Hoy, that is not good. I don't know what it is. Is it the way the float's supposed to look? There's a screen over the main jet. The heck is that thing? That yeah, could be cork, could be the way it's supposed to be. Maybe? Needle is there, it's not too bad. Balsa wood? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a mess anyway, looks ugly. Jeez, that's weird. So we have a brass seat and a rubber tip plug or er, needle. A spider web in there? God knows. Mold. Something. That is weird. I can't say I've ever seen one like that. Anybody watching, if you've seen these before, shoot me a comment down below. Let me know. Okay. It's actually clean. That's not. It's mold. There's mold in there. That's weird. Okay. I'm going to get a screwdriver and pull that out. <clears throat> Maybe.
maybe. Yeah. Bold. That's a new one for me. Well, it looks clear. Well, yeah, even main jet's clear. You can see squat. Actually, you know what? The carburetor doesn't look bad. It looked pretty bad on the outside. A little bit of floaties and junk on the screen here. That's not going to stop it from running. I might just be able to put a plug in this and fresh premix because it takes 50 to 1. I'll wipe this out. Just mold. I'll hit it with brake clean and squirt that shit out of there. And yeah. I'm willing to give it a shot without even putting in the ultrasonic cleaner. Checking the holes down the side of this emulsion tube here and everything appears to clear. We got a strange lighting. I got sun coming in the window here. Maybe I'll see if I can. I don't know. Oh, that's better. So. Yeah, we'll give it a wipe and see what happens. All right, so I didn't find any mass in the carb. I decided to pop it back on there. This filter, I checked my stock, I'm out of stock on them. Basically, it's just a screen in there anyways. It's not a really fine filter. It's like, it keeps gravel and pine cones out of the carburetor, but that's about it. Spark plug was dirty. It was actually growing some green fuzz on it. Come on, focus. There we go. So we got a new one. I think I'm just going to pull the cord. Look at this kind of pop back together so the choking and everything works for us. And yeah, put some fuel in it, pull the cord, see what happens. Huh, okay. What's next? So. Yeah. Oh, that's all kinds of everything everywhere. So we gotta get our primer line back on there. That's easy enough. That's on. Ha! This goes under. It's a steel plate. Stay. This goes over. Make sure we get our choke on there. Yep. This goes over. This way. Come on, get. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, choke still attached. Yep. Goes there. That goes there. Now just to need 75 more hands to be able to get our button together. Screws are on the other bench, of course. One, two. Good for now. Did not think that through. Didn't have my hands ready. Okay, okay. Thread it again. Yep. 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 Well, that's all good. Hold oh, the compression. You guys are shaking everywhere. can't see, everything is shielded, shrouded. Where do I look? 
can't see squat. Maybe. Yeah, chokes are cut. <laughs> I don't know. Might be able. Yeah. Okay, I'll get you guys on another batch of shaky. I'm gonna put a splash of gas in it and see what happens. Hang on. Okay, so things went a little sideways. <laughs> I forgot to hook up the kill switch wire, so I went to hook it up, and I reached underneath and I hooked it up, it's fine. But now the choke's not connected. Okay, well, yeah, we'll figure that out. Then the primer bulb imploded. I happen to have a brand new one in stock. Lucky. <laughs> Hopefully it's the same size. Should work. Got to order more, but uh, yeah, that should do it for us. So let's get this off again. Take these out. So we get to that primer. Whoa, yes, yep, 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 everything hit the ground. Oi, oi. Okay, so. Get that screw out of the way because it was a pain in the butt to begin with. Everything's just falling everywhere now. Let's disconnect the thing again. So what we gotta do is get the base of this primer out of here <sighs> without breaking it. I'm gonna get that line off. Come on now. So on these, you just replace the, uh, the actual bulb itself. Oh, you're on there. She's on there. Well, something's creaking. Hopefully it's coming loose, not breaking. Because I don't have any base. All I had is the bulb. I might have to cut it off so I don't break things. Oh, look, hose is split anyways now. Let's just cut that. Cut the hose off. Maybe with a knife that was sharp. Here we go. It's real convenient that the pull cord goes through everything and it's not quick disconnect. That's very convenient. <laughs> Trying to get that little rubber piece out of there now. Can't grip it. Cut it up the side. Come on. Why are you fighting me? There. Finally. Now we have to gently remove the base of this old hard plastic part. A couple of tabs to squeeze. Again, without breaking. It's not behaving. I can see this going bad. Oh, oh, yeah! Out you came! So yeah, that's our primer. Part of it. So what we got here is these two pieces. That's the base, that's just a bulb. You just sneak it on there. Make sure it's clear. Blow gun! Oh, she's clear now. And we'll just sneak that on there. Maybe. I don't know why everything being such a pain today. Let's cut 
stuff sitting in this little rib there. Get in your home. It's like brand new. Let's get that in there. Enough messing around. Gotta order more because the other blower that this customer had for me got the same issue. The primer is not uh, in good shape either. Very gentle with everything on this because everything's brittle. Be careful. Yes, yeah, so I can order a new base. I just I don't have one, and I I don't have to put parts in there. I don't want to. Not that I don't want to put parts in there, but I just try and save my money. <laughs> Kill switch. Primer hose. Our choke rod is looped in where it needs to go. That all appears to be in order. This is always in the way. We got our new spark plug in there. Arms clean enough to work. Get everything all mangled in the home. Get on there. The choke fell off again. There, choke it back on. Some screws, top cover. There has got to be a better way to assemble that. Jeez. Let's get that one run down a little closer just to hold it. Two screws, three screws. Oh, you choke works. Primers are one piece. Key. Okay, that's in, that's in. That's where it needs to live. It does have a splash of uh, non-ethanol gas in it with uh, mixed 51. That's what it specifies. <clears throat> I believe this square hole here would be where the electric start would be if it was so equipped. But it ain't. So, choke. Give her a few primes on. Oh, hey, that's a good sign. I wasn't even seriously pulling that thing. the way I took them off. That'll get all this nice and tight and held for us. Put the auger chute control back in there and we're going to end up pulling the side cover off here. We'll check the belt, make sure all the idlers and the belt and everything are okay. I believe it's that side. Yeah, it's that side. Yeah. Okay, I'll get that figured out, reset the camera, and we'll come back. I don't even have to reach to the camera anymore to shut it off. Look at this. I've got to start the stop button right here. 
Okay, well, let's get into this thing here. I got the handles on, I got the auger position on. All that stuff is on. A couple of bolts on this side, a few on this side. It's a long one. Tightens up that belt, tensions it. And to adjust the tension, I believe there's a set of, oh, there you go, set of holes here. You could just basically unhook the cable at the uh, handle end first. And you can Tighten the cable, basically you just move it down a hole to tighten the cable up. We're going to give it one one tighter on the adjustment. We'll slide our guard back down on it. And then we can hook our cable back up and it'll just give them a little more tension on the auger. Yeah, that should do it. But if it doesn't, you can adjust it. Pulley is a little rusty, but it's probably going to be okay. The belt looks okay. There's no chunks out of it. Nothing missing. So we're going to call that done. Pop her back on. Get all our bolts started. Oh, and I tipped it. I don't remember where the long one is. I think that's the long one. Yep, that's the long one. It's that one. One here. One here. Bolt and a washer and a nut on the inside. <clears throat> a bolt. Oh, washer's still on it. Washer and a nut here. Now they're all in. Let's tighten them up. The machine's ready to go. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. Hasn't run in a long time. New plug, clean the fuel out, clean the carb out. It wasn't really dirty, got the mold out of it. Should 
control works, the paddles are new, the belt is good. Not much left on the... There wouldn't be much left to look at on this. So. Thanks for joining me on this one, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new camera. I don't know. I haven't seen any recordings from it yet, so I don't know if it's any different. But, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, leave uh, click that bell icon. It'll notify you when I upload new videos. And until the next one, take care.